Chapter 5 Hormonal Responses to Exercise Exercise Physiology Theory and Application to Fitness and Performance, 6th Edition Scott K. Powers and Edward T. Howley Objectives Describe the Hormone Receptor Interaction Identify four factors that influence the contraction of the hormone in the blood. Describe how steroid hormones act on cells. Describe second messenger hormone action. Describe the role of hypothalamus releasing factors in the control of hormone secretion from the anterior and posterior pituitary objectives. Identify the site of release, stimulus for release, and the predominant action of the following hormones epinephrine, norepinephrine glucagon, insulin, cortisol, aldosterone, thyroxine, growth hormone, estrogen, and testosterone. Discuss the use of anabolic steroid and growth hormone on muscle growth and their potential side effects. Objectives Contrast the role of plasma catecholamines with intracellular factors in the mobilization of muscle glycogen during exercise. Graphically describe the changes in the following hormones during graded and prolonged exercise and discuss how those changes influence the four mechanisms used to maintain the blood glucose concentration, insulin, glucagon, cortisol, growth hormone, epinephrine, and norepinephrine. Objectives Describe the effect of changing hormone and substrate levels in the blood on the mobilization of free fatty acids from adipose tissue. Neuroendocrinology Endocrine glands release hormones directly into the blood. Hormones alter the activity of tissues that possess receptors to which the hormone can bind. The plasma hormone concentration determines the magnitude of the effect at the tissue level. Blood hormone concentration Determined by Rate of secretion of hormone from endocrine gland Rate of metabolism or excretion of hormone Quantity of transport protein Changes in plasma volume, control of hormone secretion. Rate of insulin secretion from the pancreas is dependent on magnitude of input, stimulatory versus inhibitory factors that influence the secretion of hormones. Big 5.1 Hormone Receptor Interactions Trigger events at the cell, magnitude of effect dependent on. Concentration of the hormone Number of receptors on the cell Affinity of the receptor for the hormone Hormone receptor interactions Hormones bring about effects by Altering membrane transport Stimulating DNA to increase protein synthesis Activating second messengers Cyclic AMP CA++ Inositol triphosphate Diacylglycerol Mechanism of steroid hormones Big 5.2 Cyclic AMP Second Messenger Mechanism Fig 5.3 Other Second Messenger Systems Big 5.4 Hormones, Regulation and Action Hormones are secreted from endocrine glands, hypothalamus and pituitary glands, Thyroid and parathyroid glands, adrenal glands, pancreas, testes and ovaries, hypothalamus, controls activity of the anterior and posterior pituitary glands, influenced by positive and negative input, positive and negative input to the hypothalamus. Big 5.6 Anterior pituitary gland. Big 5.5 Growth hormone secreted from the anterior pituitary gland Essential for normal growth Stimulates protein synthesis and long bone growth Increases during exercise Mobilizes fatty acids from adipose tissue Aids in the maintenance of blood glucose Growth hormone Big 5.6 Posterior pituitary gland Secretes antidiuretic hormone, ADH, or vasopressin. Reduces water loss from the body to maintain plasma volume. Stimulated by High plasma osmolality and low plasma volume due to sweating. Exercise Change in the plasma ADH concentration during exercise. 
Fig 5.7. Thyroid gland triiodothyronine, T3, and thyroxine, D4. Important in maintaining metabolic rate and allowing full effect of other hormones. Calcitonin. Regulation of plasma CA++. Parathyroid hormone. Also involved in plasma CA++ regulation. Adrenal medulla secretes epinephrine and norepinephrine increases. HR, glycogenolysis, lipolysis, adrenal cortex mineral corticoids, aldosterone. Maintain plasma Na plus and K plus. Regulation of blood pressure, change in mineral corticoids during exercise. Fig 5.8. Adrenal cortex glucocorticoids, cortisol. Stimulated by exercise and long-term fasting. Promotes the use of free fatty acids as fuel. Stimulates glucose synthesis. Promotes protein breakdown for gluconeogenesis and tissue repair. Control of cortisol secretion. Fig 5.9. Pancreas. Secretes digestive enzymes and bicarbonate into small intestine. Releases. Insulin. Promotes the storage of glucose, amino acids, and fats. Glucagon. Promotes the mobilization of fatty acids and glucose. Somatostatin. Controls rate of entry of nutrients into the circulation. Testes release testosterone anabolic steroid. Promotes tissue, muscle, building. Performance enhancement. Androgenic steroid. Promotes masculine characteristics. Control of testosterone secretion. Big 5.10. Estrogen establish and maintain reproductive function. Levels vary throughout the menstrual cycle. Control of estrogen secretion. Big 5.11. Muscle glycogen utilization. Breakdown of muscle glycogen is under dual control. Epinephrine cyclic AMP. Ca2 plus Ca modulin. Delivery of glucose parallels activation of muscle contraction. Glycogenolysis. Breakdown of glycogen. Big 5.16. Control of glycogenolysis. Big 5.16. Muscle glycogen utilization. Glycogenolysis is related to exercise intensity. High intensity of exercise results in greater and more rapid glycogen depletion. Plasma epinephrine is a powerful simulator of glycogenolysis. High intensity of exercise results in greater increases in plasma epinephrine. Big 5.13. Big 5.14. Glycogen depletion during exercise. Big 5.13. Plasma epinephrine concentration during exercise. Big 5.14. Maintenance of plasma glucose during exercise. Mobilization of glucose from liver glycogen stores. Mobilization of FFA from adipose tissue. Spares blood glucose. Gluconeogenesis from amino acids, lactic acid, and glycerol. Blocking the entry of glucose into cells. Forces use of FFA as a fuel. Blood glucose homeostasis during exercise. Permissive and slow acting hormones. Thyroxine, cortisol, growth hormone. Act in a permissive manner to support actions of other hormones. Cortisol stimulates FFA mobilization from adipose tissue. Mobilizes amino acids for gluconeogenesis. Blocks entry of glucose into cells. Big 5.17. Role of cortisol in the maintenance of blood glucose. Big 5.17. Plasma cortisol during exercise. At low intensity. Plasma cortisol decreases. At high intensity. Plasma cortisol increases. Fig 5.18. Changes in plasma cortisol during exercise. Fig 5.18. Growth hormone important in the maintenance of plasma glucose. Decreases glucose uptake. Increases FFA mobilization. 
enhances gluconeogenesis. Fig 5.19 Growth Hormone in the Maintenance of Plasma Glucose Fig 5.19 Growth Hormone During Exercise, Effect of Intensity Fig 5.20 Growth Hormone During Exercise, Trained versus Untrained Fig 5.20 Blood Glucose Homeostasis During Exercise Fast Acting Hormones Norepinephrine and epinephrine. Insulin and glucagon. Maintain plasma glucose. Increasing liver glucose mobilization. Increase levels of plasma FFA. Decreasing glucose uptake. Increasing gluconeogenesis. Fig 5.21 Role of catecholamines in substrate mobilization. Fig 5.21 Epinephrine and norepinephrine during exercise. Increase linearly during exercise. Favor the mobilization of FFA and maintenance of plasma glucose. Change in plasma catecholamines during exercise. Fig 5.22 Epinephrine and norepinephrine following training. Decreased plasma levels in response to exercise bout. Parallels reduction in glucose mobilization. Plasma catecholamines during exercise following training. Fig 5.23 Effects of Insulin and Glucagon Fig 5.24 Insulin During Exercise Plasma insulin decreases during exercise. Prevents rapid uptake of plasma glucose. Favors mobilization of liver glucose and lipid FFA. Train subjects during exercise. More rapid decrease in plasma insulin. Increase in plasma glucagon. Changes in plasma insulin during exercise. Fig 5.25 Effect of training on plasma insulin during exercise. Fig 5.25 Effect of training on plasma glucagon during exercise. Fig 5.26 Effect of SNS on substrate mobilization. Fig 5.28 Hormonal responses to exercise. Fig 5.29a. Hormonal responses to exercise. Fig 5.29b. Free fatty acid mobilization during heavy exercise. FFA mobilization decreases during heavy exercise. This occurs in spite of persisting hormonal stimulation for FFA mobilization. May be due to high levels of lactic acid. Promotes resynthesis of triglycerides. Inadequate blood flow to adipose tissue. Insufficient transporter for FFA in plasma. Effect of lactic acid on FFA mobilization. Fig 